Stick around. I'm gonna show you what went down. Messy. Snorkels, soccer balls, old stinky shoes. <laughs> Ew. Nasty. Karma, you're supposed to be cleaning, not making more of a mess. Community Cares Week ends tomorrow. Sorry, Miss Washington. So this Community Cares thing, the whole neighborhood volunteers every year? Yep. We planted flowers, cleaned up litter in the park, and this year, we're all fixing up the community center. And I built a brand new invention. <clears throat> the snack decider! It decides what snack you should have. Huh? You get pickle chips. Ah! <laughs> pickle chips. Wow! Uh, it seems like everyone gets pickle chips. I mean, they are the best snack. Huh? Ah! Don't make me take out your batteries. <laughs> <laughs> huh, what is all this stuff? Ooh, Ethernet cables and displays. These would be great for gaming and streaming and designing and, and... Uh, they're good for computers. Uh, Girl, you could have just said that. But do they even work? Sure, if we put this here, connect this to that, that should do it. <gasps> Whoa! She's good. <laughs> I can fix up all those old computers. <gasps> it can be my community cares project. Oh, I love it. But you think you can do it all in time for the final showcase tomorrow? Uh... Don't worry, Switch. I'll help. Today, I'm your computer assistant. Really, Karma? Of course. Awesome! We've got spare cables and... Oh. Huh? The kids' poetry slam jam. <gasps> We want your poems about your favorite place in the world. And the winners will be read live on TV. <gasps> Switch! The whole city could hear my rhymes. That's huge. But what am I going to write about? The diner? Uh, the park? Or Madagascar? You've been to Madagascar? Nope. So it might be my favorite place, and I don't even know it yet. Hmm. hmm. We're going to need more computer supplies from my place. Will you help me, Carrie? Karma. Sure. My favorite place, Tokyo. <gasps> what about outer space? When I want to feel at home or feel brand new, I go to my favorite place, which is a stinky old shoe. <laughs> what? Ahem. <laughs> Let me try that again. No worries, no stress. I'll just start again. My favorite place is a muddy pig's pen? Uh, it is? <laughs> no, of course not. That rhyme doesn't make any sense. What is going on in my brain? It's all right. You might just have some writer's block. Writer's block? Yeah, it happens to my dad sometimes. He says it's like your whole brain's a blank page and it's hard to get any good ideas. <gasps> That's exactly what I have. But how do I get rid of it? I'm not sure. <sighs> I just gotta concentrate and keep writing, and I'm sure it'll get better. Okay, gotta huh? go. So does that mean you can't help me? Oh, uh, yeah. I should really focus on my poem. Sorry, Switch. Nah, I get it. You gotta get rid of your block. But I'll help you out tomorrow morning. I promise. Okay, see ya, Carm. <sighs> my favorite place is... Is... Oh! I've been trying for hours and nothing. <sighs> Gotta figure out what's stopping me. Gotta figure out what's blocking me. What is my favorite place? Do I even know? What am I doing wrong? Uh, where can I? poem going? <sighs> it's been really hard to write. <laughs> Poeming is so easy. Watch. Pickle chips, oh, pickle chips. So pickly and sweet. They're so good that humans and dogs want to eat. Ugh, no keys. This is way bigger than that. <sighs> I have writer's block. <gasps> That's terrible! <laughs> what is that? It's when your brain can't come up with any good ideas. Oh, no. Is it contagious? I don't want your writer's block. 
I don't want it either. <laughs> Block. See you never. Ahem. My favorite place makes me happy. It's my spot to chill. My favorite place is the sweaty treadmill. <laughs> Good morning. Who's ready to untangle some wires? Hmm. Uh oh. Still a writer's block? I don't know what to do. Nothing good is coming out of my brain, no matter how much I focus. You know what you should do? Check the internet. Well, couldn't hurt. How do you cure writer's block? <sighs> There's a whole list here. I'm going to try them all. Oh, I thought you were going to help me with the computers today. I have to focus on this poem, Switch. I can't think about anything else till it's finished. It's OK. Just promise you'll come help me finish this afternoon? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Well. See ya, I guess. Hmm. To cure writer's block, eat a peanut butter and jalapeno sandwich? <laughs> to cure writer's block, try writing upside down. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> to cure writer's block, balance on one foot with a banana on your head. Pet monkey. <laughs> Get back here! Ah! Want to know my favorite place? Well, here it is. My favorite place will be a social studies pop quiz. Ah! Writer's block! <gasps> Karma! I'm so glad you made it. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Karma, in there? Because I could really use your help right now. Switch, I'm trying to focus. My poem is due tomorrow, and I still haven't written a single line. I know, but community cares begins tonight, and Ugh, I... I can't, okay? This poem is really important. Important. Important? This computer lab is for our whole community, and it was going to be my way to show this neighborhood how much I care. How could you think that's not just as important as your poem? No, that's not what I'm... You promised to help me this weekend, but instead you've only been thinking about yourself. I've been helping you and focusing on you, and I've been patient when you keep ignoring me, and... and I... <sighs> I've got to go. I really messed up. Ugh. Almost done? <laughs> Oh. Mm, that don't look done. <sighs> Not even close. <sighs> Wasn't Karma supposed to be helping you? Yeah, but she has something more important to do. Actually, huh? I don't. I'm sorry I broke my promise to help you this weekend. You wanted to do something special for the whole neighborhood, and I was only thinking about myself. But now I'm here to help. But what about the poetry contest? And fixing your writer's block? That's not as important to me as helping my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Karma. Okay, couple questions. What do I do with this? And, uh, what is it? <laughs> Here, let me show you. And now, let's hear from our next Community Cares volunteer, Switch Stein. She put together our neighborhood's new computer lab. Thanks, Miss Washington, but I had help. <laughs> Thanks for being there for me. Of course, Witch. When I'm with you, it's like... <gasps> I figured it out! My favorite place! I've been trying so hard to come up with it all weekend. But when I relaxed and focused on my friend instead of my poem... What is it? What's your favorite place? <laughs> Thank you, Switch. You cured my writer's block. About my favorite place in the world Well, the answer is anywhere I hang with my girl Her name's Switch Together forever we have super swag At the diner or brand new computer lab Best friends are such an inspiration When you need help or have some hesitation <laughs> I took a break from the pain I felt And when I helped her, I really helped myself So if you ever get stuck or get brighter's block Step back for a while and you'll be back on top yeah. My favorite place is you and all the things we do, 
Our friendship is so true You know I got your back I know you got my back There's no replacing you <laughs> Yes! Poetry contest entered And you beat your writer's block All I needed was to figure out my real inspiration Pickle chips huh? Oh, pickle chips So crunchy, so sour They give both humans and dogs Pickle chippy power <laughs> I could put away with five Oh, I'm dead. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's me. It's you, it's you, it's you! And now that you're right in front of me, I just have to say... Selfie! Oh, okay. Wait, hold up. I don't even know who you are. Oh, I'm Karma Grant, and I'm your number one fan. Nice to meet you. Now, how did you fall through my ceiling? My friends and I were following these weird symbols all around the neighborhood to try... Oh, them. my old tag! I painted these so long ago. Does that mean... You hit the treasure? <gasps> I found the treasure! I found the treasure! Uh, can I have my treasure now? <laughs> There's no treasure here. There's no treasure? But the symbols and the record and the lyrics. When times get dark, follow the beat of your heart. It's got to <laughs> mean something. Those are the lyrics to the first song I ever recorded. But back then, no one would even play my song on the radio. So I decided to put it out myself. So it wasn't a treasure hunt. You were just painting your lyrics around the block? Yep. Then where have you been all these years? The question on everyone's lips, where is Lady K? The famous rapper, once known for traveling around the world, has vanished, now missing no photos, for 15 no photos, years. Please. Her fans just want to know, Lady K, where are you? Ugh. I'm right here. Sure, I had the fancy cars, the fancy clothes, but I wasn't happy. I was homesick. I miss being here, in the neighborhood I love. I realized I was just making music for the money. So I gave it all up and came home. Well, great. That means you can help us. See, my friend Winston's family owns the record shop upstairs, and it's gonna close. They need money to save it. Ooh, I have an idea. We can have a big, big concert at the spin shop. And then you'll appear, and the crowd will go wild. <gasps> Lady K, she's back. I thought she disappeared. And then everyone will remember how great the spin shop is and donate money, and it will be saved. <sighs> so what do you think? I'm not doing any of that. What? But I know you think I'm your hero, but I'm just a person. Nobody cares about me making a comeback. I can't save your friend's record shop. I'm not magic, Carter. Now, isn't it past your bedtime? But you said you love our neighborhood. Now you have a chance to actually help it with your music. I can't just up and fix everything. Like I said, I'm not magic. You're magic to me. Hey, Karma, where you been? Last night, I met Lady K. You what? <laughs> yep, I heard music, so I followed it, and it led me to her secret recording studio. You expect us to believe you met Lady K? No, for real. I'm telling the truth. See? Hey, it is Lady K. So does that mean she was the mysterious rapper on the record? The one with the treasure? There was no treasure. And when I asked her to help save the spin shop, she said no. Oh, man. Uh, I knew it was too good to be true. First Crash put that video online. Now this? What a terrible day. Oh, what did Crash put online? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. What did Crash put online? Uh. You thought you were better, but you never could defeat me. I'm the best rapper from the school, ripping Peach Street. I'ma take credit when you flexing on the mic. Listen to yourself. You were right. Oh, Crash, we were just teammates, and now this? Don't listen to Crash. You can win. You just have to focus. Mm. Karma, maybe it's time to stop thinking about saving the spin shop and start thinking about what you can do. Beat Crash on Freestyle Knockout tonight. <sighs> yeah. Okay, and she's not the person she seems. I'm a little disappointed. I thought we could be a team. And on top of that, tomorrow <laughs> I'm battling Crash. He could probably win if I don't focus on the task. But what's really important is the record shop. Gotta save the day if my feelings are in a rush. 
right or not, I'm never giving up, even if there's no treasure. Maybe there's a way to solve everything together. Mm. Huh? <laughs> what? You looked hungry. <laughs> Usually I'd say something like, ugh, and slam my door in your face, but not today. Wait, really? Yeah, because I need your help. Tonight on Freestyle Knockout, I have a chance to rap to the whole world. And I'm going to use it to save the spin shop. Get your inventions, all of them, and meet me there tonight. What? You need me to what? Lose Freestyle Knockout tonight. So you can win? No, I need us both to lose tonight. Man, I'm out of here. I know we don't get along, like ever. But we have a chance tonight to use our voices to save the spin shop. Mm. Look. We can go back to being enemies tomorrow. But tonight, can we be teammates one last time? <laughs> what would you do without me? Oh, come on. It was a nice moment, and you ruined it. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> What's the plan? We have to write a song that convinces the whole world to help us. Because if we don't, we're going to get hit by a lot of toilet paper rolls. Wait, what? The show's about to start. Huh? Ooh, here they are, all of my inventions. We have to do whatever it takes for our best friend. Thanks, Karma. <gasps> Winnie, I'm sorry I was so focused on saving the shop that I didn't think about your feelings. But is it okay if I give it one last try? I'm with you all the way. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Freestyle Knockout. Tonight, our top two rappers go from teammates to competitors. Give it up for Crash Watkins and Karma Grant! Huh? Hi, everyone. I'm not here to freestyle battle. Neither am I, even though I would have crushed her. <laughs> We're here to ask for your help. There's this store, the spin shop in Hansbury Heights. That's an amazing place for music. Mm -mm. No. But it's about to close because mm. it doesn't have enough customers. So Crash and I, we're not gonna battle. We're gonna rap together to show how important the spin shop is. Because what's the point of having a voice if you don't use it to make the world a better place? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not freestyle help out. This is freestyle knockout. Yeah, but, but this is really important. Hey, oh! <laughs> Hey, 
Yo, I've been listening to you since I had baby teeth. But you've been gone so long. Why come back now? Cause someone reminded me the whole point of having a voice is using it to make the world a better place. So where can all your fans find that fire new record? There's only one place to get it. The Spin Shop. Come on, everybody. Let's support our neighborhood's music. Guess you're a little bit magic after all. For the last time, job, I... Winston Tor is here directing my second rapumentary. Carmen, why don't you tell us what's been up? The last two months have been amazing. I didn't win Freestyle Knockout, but who cares? I got something better instead. The Spin Shop is back in business. Me and Crash performing our song with Lady K worked. It brought a ton of new customers to the store. Ooh, but you still haven't seen the best part yet. Come on, check it out. Little Bit of Magic Studios. <laughs> mm. I thought we hadn't decided on a new name yet. Yes, we have. Now the studio's open for the whole neighborhood to make music together. And everybody's welcome. But please use the front door, not the ceiling. <laughs> oh, and Karma, all these extra people's gonna make a lot more work around here. Any chance you want to help out? <gasps> really? Like a job? Here? With you? We can start next weekend. Ooh, oh, okay, we doing thank this? You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lady K! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> You think she'll mind if we take a break for lunch? I'm sure that'll be fine. Did somebody say lunch? Never fear, hungry citizens. The Sammy Kablammy is here. Blasting peanut butter and jellies at the speed of sound. <laughs> Sammy Kablammy! <laughs> mm. I usually use a plate, Keys. <laughs> Still working out a kink or two. <gasps> Four, three. What's that? Huh. It sounds like it's coming from out front. I hey, know. I want Attention, one. Attention, please. Coupons, get your coupons. Coupons? For what? For the new Mega Mark, sweetie. <laughs> the brilliant neighborhood council president convinced them to build their latest store on our block. Oh. Wait, aren't you the neighborhood council president? <laughs> yep, and you're welcome. Mega Mart. If you want it, they got it. Ooh, can I get comic books there? They got it. But will it have fresh veggies for my diner? They got it. I need stuff to fix my Sammy Kablammy. Screwdrivers, wrenches, inverted jelly conductors. They got that, and that, and that. <gasps> I thought I made up that last one. Plus, the Mega Mart will bring jobs and business to our community. The Mega Mart's the future. They're going to have everything, like... Rolling balls. Hot air balloons. Oh, so what? And dancing robots and... Video games. Plus... Turtle food in bulk. Who cares? And giant tubs of gummy worms. Did he say gummy worms? Mm -hmm. You mm. know it. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Great Mega Mart. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Even Mr. Crawford is excited, and he never gets excited about anything. Karma, Keys, Winston, little carrot help in here. Come okay, on. Right there. <laughs> At least when the Mega Mart comes, we won't have to pick carrots. We can buy them. And the parts to fix my Sammy Kablammy. Enough about the Mega Mart. Mom, you're not excited about the Mega Mart? <laughs> excited? They want to build it here. Here, and get rid of the garden. What? I didn't know that. The garden that I've been taking care of forever. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. But think about all the stuff we can buy there. This garden is better than just a place to buy stuff. Oh. It's where Chef Scott served us delicious meals. <laughs> Miss Washington taught you double dutch. Where Dad and I met. Ugh. It's where you two made memories like this one. Oh, I yeah. I remember that. But maybe the gardens are past and the Mega Mart's the future. <sighs> maybe. But this was a place where we all went from being strangers to neighbors. And I'm gonna really be sad to lose that. Oh. 
Hmm. If we get the Mega Mart, we'll lose the garden. This is such a hard decision to consider. Do you remember all the memories we made from January to December? Like the garden and the trees and my favorite tire swing, holiday festivities, and those birthday parties? I don't know. I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss these picnics. I'm going to miss that time I made those handprints with Winston and even soccer games and double dutch was my thing. It's hard to come to grips that everything is going to change. But we can buy so much stuff at the Mega Mart. I am so confused and I don't know what to do. Because the Mega Mart is coming and I think that's really cool. Buy some clothes, buy some shoes, buy some toys, buy some food. But it gets complicated because I think we're going to lose the garden. The garden, the garden. I'm so disheartened. Disheartened, disheartened. The Mega Mart's a problem. A we need to save the garden! The garden, the garden, the garden. <sighs> All the times we cared, huh? I don't want to see them go. If we loved, if we cared, then we could have seen it grow. The garden, oh, I'll miss the garden. thinking maybe I was wrong the garden's not just a garden it's where strangers became neighbors plus we built it with our bare hands well technically my bare hands making a point mom mm -hmm. this is our garden our community we have to save it that's a beautiful idea car star but the Mega Mart's a huge company that everyone loves how are the two of us going to stop it you and Dad always taught me to fight for what I believe in, even if it's hard. <laughs> so, what if we got all our neighbors to sign a petition saying they don't want the Mega Mart to replace the garden? That's smart, but we'd have to get a lot of people to sign it to convince the neighborhood council to change their minds. Piece of cake. Save the garden. Excuse me. Would you like to sign our petition? Ooh, Mr. Single! Oh, Karma! Would you mind signing this petition? Hmm, let me see. We believe that the community garden should be protected from the Mega Mart that's... Got all, everything huh? you want! Take a coupon! Two for one turtle food. <gasps> but Mr. Single, they're going to destroy the community garden. Sorry, Karma, but it's two for one. <sighs> Excuse me, will you sign to stop the Mega Mart? No. Nuh-uh. Nope. Don't you mess with my gummy worms. semi Blimmy! Keith! See? I need the brake capacitor from the Mega Mart to fix that. <laughs> Winston, you'll sign our petition to save the garden, right? Well... What do you mean, well? It's just that they're going to sell everything. Jet skis, tennis rackets, pineapples. But Winston, you don't jet ski or play tennis. And you're allergic to pineapples! <clears throat> what about our handprints? I know this means a lot to you, but the garden's old news. And the Mega Mart is the future. Two for one. <laughs> Sorry, Carm. Well, looks like that's everyone. The whole block wants the Mega Mart. Better luck next time, ladies. <sighs> it's okay. At least we tried. All the times we shared, I don't want to see them go. If we loved, if we cared, then we could have seen it grow. The garden. Oh, I'll miss the garden. <gasps> Mom, that's it! Our neighbors know why they want the Mega Mart to buy stuff. But they're not remembering why the garden's so important. Because it's where we all went from being strangers to neighbors. Right, but... So we have to show them. And I think your song can help. Wait, but I don't... Come on! Whoa! Right, let's see. The cereal aisle can go here. 
and frozen foods over there, and the camping aisle is, huh? What's that? What's going on? You, know you hear that? Huh? Hi, everybody. <clears throat> we know y'all are excited about this Mega Mart, but if it comes, we'll lose this place we love. The garden is where we all went from being strangers to neighbors. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't just represent our past, it represents our future, too. So to protect it, we need you to sign our petition. Yeah. Mm. We don't need the Mega Mart. Let's protect what we started. It's such an important place, and we need to save our garden where strangers become neighbors. Memories never end. Where my parents first met, me and Winston became friends. Everything is organic. What we have is the best. And do you really think the Mega Mart's food is this fresh? Our community's grown. This our community's home. I say we all come together. This our unity song. All the times we share, we should never let them go. We should love, we should care. Our community will grow with the garden. Everybody just got some breaking news from the neighborhood council president. But you're the president. That's right. And you and your petition changed my mind. We are moving the Mega Mart to another empty lot. So the garden stays. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Mama, you did it! You fought for what you believed in and you saved the garden, baby. You learned from the best. Oh. <laughs> Plus, who even needs the Mega Mart? I fixed my invention all by myself. Please, Lamont, Please don't. don't! No, 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 no! Be completely! <laughs> you get a sandwich, and you get a sandwich, and you get a sandwich! Do you really need all this stuff for tonight's sleepover? A globe and a snorkel? I just want to make sure we have everything we need. It's my first middle school sleepover, and Switch will be there, and... I want it to be perfect. But what about when all your friends hear you? <sighs> Snoring! Well, don't forget the things you actually need. Like your hair bonnet. Ah, a girl's gotta protect her hair. Especially since my hair is looking extra good today. Okay. <laughs> and don't worry about food, because I got your favorite snack. Pickle chips! Dad, you were supposed to get popcorn. Nobody likes pickle chips. Everybody likes pickle chips. Isn't that right, Keys? Yup. Thanks, Pop. Hey, I want some, <laughs> too. Get back here. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Where are you going to live, Karma? And stop. I'm gonna live in India. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Ooh. <laughs> and stop. I'm gonna live in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> then you're gonna need this. Oh, a snorkel. That's Karma's nickname. Get it? Cause she snores. Keys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, do you wanna play it, girl? Totally. Yeah. You know it. Okay. Before we play, we've got to design our character. Ooh, she can rock that leather jacket. That's, That's next, next level. level. That belt, too. Totally, totally next, next level. level. Now we just have to figure out her hair. What do you think, Karma? Hmm. Mm. Ooh, this one. Next, next level. level. How about accessories? Bows are having a moment. Wait, can you put bows in it? Or wear headbands? Or clips? Can you do your hair like normal hair? You mean, can black people do their hair like yours? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, um, hey, <laughs> help me pick out shoes. What about boots? Maybe sandals? Look at those dope sneakers. Mm. Sabia, out. <laughs> Uh, is there popcorn on my face? What is that? Oh, my bonnet? I wear it when I sleep. You wear a hat to bed? 
Well, it's not really a hat. It's to take care of my curls. A girl's gotta protect her hair. <laughs> Does every black girl wear one of those? Um, is that hair harder to comb? What about brushing? Does it have to be washed every day? The hair or the bonnet? Both. I mean, I don't know every black girl, but I guess my cousin Kiki has Can a... Can I touch it? Wow, it's way softer than I thought it would be. Really? I want to touch it. Ugh. Get off me! Whoa, sure thing, Carm. Beep, beep, beep. Good night. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Your sleepover was next, next level. level. <laughs> See you, girl. Bye. Sure, thanks for coming. <sighs> What's up, Karma? You look like you ate a bad pickle chip or something. Well, I didn't feel great when you all asked me a bunch of questions about my hair. Really? We were just curious. It made me feel, I don't know, weird. It's not like we made fun of you or anything. We just don't know what it's like to have hair like yours. Don't you think you're overreacting a little? Overreacting? But, ugh. It's nothing. Forget it. Um, okay. See you at school tomorrow? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I always thought my hair was beautiful the way it was, but now I'm questioning myself and I don't feel the love. All because my hair is different from my other friends, should I change my look? Should I follow trends? You wear a hat wear to hat? bed? Oh, no. To brush it? Have to every black every girl wear one of those? Mm. It hits different when somebody hurts your feelings when they talk about your hair, because your hair is a little different. I was so hurt, and I will never forget it. Why? Touch my hair. I never gave him permission. My heart was breaking, and I didn't want to admit it. I tried to explain it, but they didn't want to listen. My Gosh, I mean the way this hurts, and yeah, I know they didn't mean it, so it makes things worse. Wow, they say my hair is not normal, and I want to scream. Do I deserve a crown? Maybe I'm not a queen. Does every black girl wear one of those? <laughs> uh, whoa! <gasps> what is that? It's the Keys Grand Patented Barbershop Cortex 4000. It's an all-in-one hair salon. Give me five minutes and you'll never have to worry about your hair again. Because it'll all be gone. Out! Now! <laughs> uh. <sighs> hmm. You sure you want to do this, Carm? You love your fro. You're always calling it fro nominal. I just... I just want normal hair like everyone else. Okay. what I thought I wanted, but... We're home, kids. Hey, Mom. Hey, D Dad. Are those more mm. pickle chips? Hey, stay out of grown folks' business. <laughs> you come on too, Karma. I need to do your hair. <sighs> See you, Winnie. See you, Karma. <sighs> Baby, what's wrong? <sighs> it's just my hair is so different. It's big and poofy and frizzy and... Ugh, I don't want my hair anymore. I want straight hair. Normal hair. <sighs> Karma! Your hair is normal. All hair is. Because the only thing that's normal about everyone's hair is that it's all different. <sighs> but my friends asked me a million questions about black hair last night. Were they bullying you? No, no. They didn't mean to be mean. But they still made me feel really bad. I'm sorry, baby. Asking questions like that might seem like just being curious, but it hurt you, and that's not okay. Plus, they touched my hair without asking. <sighs> yeah, that happens to me too. But no one should ever touch our hair without asking. We gotta protect our hair. <laughs> I always thought our hair was beautiful. 
But do other people not see it that way? It doesn't matter what they see. Our hair is gorgeous. Whether it's straight like Cousin Kiki's, or in locks like Miss Washington, tight textured like mine, or big curls like yours, you come from a long line of black women with beautiful hair, especially me. <laughs> So, would you be mad at me if I changed my hair? I would love you no matter what, even if you had a Keys Grant patented haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Any way you fix your hair, it'll be beautiful, because it's on your head. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mom, I think I might have given Major a buzz cut. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to watch. You want to trade? <laughs> hey, Switch. C can we talk? Yeah, sure. So, your questions about my hair made me feel really bad. Yeah, but Carl... I know you didn't mean to, but it's not okay for you to say my hair is not normal. I... I didn't even realize. What you said made me doubt myself. But now I know that my hair is normal because it's different and I love it just the way it is. I'm so proud of my hair, it makes me want to sing. With my fearless crown of curls, I feel like a queen. Love your froze, love your cornrows and knots. If it's relaxed or in braids, all your twists and your locks. The thing that makes us all different is our superpower. And if somebody disagrees, you have to say it louder. The thing that makes us all different is our superpower. And if somebody disagrees, you have to say it louder. a long line of black women with beautiful hair. But I can't answer for all of them. I just want to answer for me. Oh, and one more thing. Please don't touch my hair without asking. Mm-hmm. Because a girl's got to protect her hair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Really, Karma. But would it be okay if I asked where you got your awesome braids? My mom did them herself. What about your bangs? My mom took me to a salon. She has no idea how to do them herself. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I heard the funniest joke today. So the guy, huh? huh? <clears throat> karma! Oh my gosh, you're really her. You're Karma Grant, the Karma Grant. <laughs> That's me. Can I help you? Keys, you said ow, you ow. tell her. All right, all right. Karma, this is Neha. She's in my class, and she has a lot to say. And I'm your biggest fan. I have fans? Yeah, huh? I'm the president of your fan club, the Karma Charmas. Wow. How many members does it have? Well, it's just me for now. But soon, it'll be thousands. Or, like, probably millions. Can't be much of a Karma fan club if it doesn't have Karma's first fan as a member. Sorry, Winston, but to be a Charma, you have to beat the Karma Charma Challenge. But if you do, you get one of these, a Karma Charma pin. Whoa! So, Karma, I have this podcast called 99 with Neha, where I interview musicians. Hmm. Would you come on my show and answer some questions about your music? Sure. Anything for a fan. <gasps> Yay! 99 questions with Karma Grant. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, did she say 99 questions? Here we are on the stoop where Karma sits and thinks sometimes. Ooh. And for even more Karma facts, you can buy our premium package for the low, low price of one bag of pickle chips. Ooh. Hey, Neha. Hi, Karma! <gasps> Look, we both have such cool jackets. Cool jackets? Uh, they are pretty cool, aren't they? Well, I'm helping Lady K at the studio today, so... I can walk with you, and we can get started on some of these questions. Uh, whoa, sure. <laughs> Question one. How did it feel to save the community garden with music? Oh, it felt really great, especially because I got to sing with my mom. Follow up. When was the first time you sang with your mom? Well, I started when I... Ooh, follow, follow up. Did you ever think that... 
team. How did you... Well, I better get downstairs. <laughs> Bye, Neha. Wait, Karma! Before you go, can I have your autograph? Uh... Oh, uh, an autograph? Of course. And here. Oh, hey, Lady oh, K. And there. Didn't see you there. <laughs> and there. Busy signing autographs for my and fan, there. Neha. And there. Nice to meet you, Neha. Hello. Did you want me to sign anything? Nah, that's okay. <laughs> and there. And there. Oh, and there. Huh. All right. Gotta go. Wait, Karma! Can you answer some more questions later? Oh, right. <laughs> more questions. <laughs> Just numbers 19 through 99. Sure. See ya. Bye, Lady K. One, two, uh, three. Winnie? Oh, hey, Karma. Whew. Just about to do the Karma Trauma Challenge. That pin is mine. We'll see about that. Do the full out dance team signature move while reciting 10 facts about Karma. One, Karma was our class president for a week. <gasps> two, the secret ingredient in Karma's dad's barbecue sauce is love, I, I think. Three, Karma almost changed her name to, uh, Vincent. Four, five, six, oh, oh. <gasps> Did I do it? Did I get the pin? Sorry, Winston, not enough facts. No! It's okay, Win. Let's go play basketball. Ooh, I'll come with to ask more questions. Question 31. In your song about Major being a hero, you mentioned him being smelly. Can you confirm? Uh, yeah. Question 32. <laughs> Question Whoa! 56. Question <gasps> 82. Huh? Question 34. <gasps> Question. 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 So, Karma, are you free to do Neha's 99th lightning round tonight at the community center? <sighs> sure, Neha. <gasps> 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 Um, uh, do we have a math slash gym test tomorrow? No! I'm training to redo the Charma Challenge. Do you have any allergies? And do you like birds? What about lizards? Ugh, no more questions, Winnie. I've been answering them nonstop for Neha all day. I know I said I'd answer all her questions, but I wish I could get a break from my biggest fan. Sorry I'm late. No worries. Let's start. Welcome back to 99 with Neha. Karma, are you ready for Neha's super speed lightning round? I guess. Answer as fast as you can. Question 95. MC Grills or Nelly Partridge? Um, I like them both. Oh, okay. Question 96. Purple mm. scones are... What was that? Sorry, hungry. <laughs> Purple scones are mm. barbecue chips. Oh, will you want some? No, thank you. Question 97. Hey, Karma, want to play foosball? Uh, uh, hey, I'm just going to take a quick break. But we still hey, guys, to wait up. the question. Uh, Karma, who's that? Just some little kid who's been following me around all day. <laughs> but I'm down to play. <sighs> See you later. Huh. Guess she ran out of questions. Oh! Hey, Neha. So, where'd you go last night? You didn't want to answer my questions, so I bounced. Oh, I... I just wish you told me I could have interviewed someone else. But I'd already answered your questions all day. I know. I'm just some little kid following you around, right? No, that's not what I mean. Look, mo I came because I need to tell you. I don't want to be president of the Karma Charmas anymore. So I won't need this. Hmm. Huh? Wait, I'm offering a great deal on embarrassing Karma baby photos. <sighs> I really messed up with Neha. I don't know who that is, but she looks like me. So big and heroic. Could I be? All these expectations of what should I be? A great leader to my fans. Would I be? I'm just doing my own thing, and I love to write. Never knew that I could touch another person's life. Never wanted to be anybody's hero. But it sure beats feeling like a zero. Karma. Karma. 
<laughs> Practicing your autograph for your fan. I don't think she wants my autograph anymore. <sighs> Neha was disappointed because I didn't really take her interview seriously. I feel bad for letting her down, but she was kind of getting on my nerves. So what happened? She totally changed. She used to be happy and excited. Now she sounds like me when I blew off her questions. Oh, she was copying all the things I said to her. You have people listening to your voice now, Karma, and some of them are going to look up to you. But I didn't ask her to look you up. You might not always want to be their hero, but you can always choose to be someone you admire. So who do you want to be? The kind of person who helps inspire other kids. <sighs> and I definitely didn't do that. You know, I don't admire the Karma I was last night. But I think I can fix that. Um, hi, Neha. What do you want, Karma? I'm really, really sorry about how I acted yesterday. You took the time to ask me about my music, and I didn't give you that same respect back. It wasn't very nice. I know. But if you'll let me, I want to make it up to you. I'm performing a new song, and I want my biggest fan on stage to sing it with me. <gasps> wow, really? That would be my dream! Ugh, and I don't want to eat any more barbecue chips. <laughs> Check it out, Hansberry. It's 99 with Neha. My guest today, the one and only Karma Gray! Yeah! I may have one voice, but the choice is mine to keep rhyming for good, and my light will shine. Now that I know I have influence, it's so plain to see. With great power comes responsibility. I'm sorry how I acted in our last session. Let me make it up to you. Let's finish your questions. Question 97, what's your dream jam session? Work with MC Grills, man, that will be a blessing. Question 98, who inspired you first? Hmm, Lady K, she's the best on earth. And question 99, what would you say to your fans? I'ma always make a difference, do the best that I can. But there's one last thing that I have to do for my number one fan is say I love you. Even when I was in my still needs a president. <gasps> I'll do it! I could never leave the Charmers hanging. Aww. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My 4,000 subscribers are going to love hearing about this. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say 4,000 subscribers? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> you love bouncy balls, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, so much drool, Major. Yeah, stop! Major! Uh, sorry, Winnie. Let's try to keep our slobber to ourselves, huh, Major? <laughs> okay, Major, let's try fetch again. That last one was a B minus at best. You can catch a bounce way bigger than that. And I've got the perfect thing to help. Mm. Ah, check it out. My bouncy ball blaster. Hey. Uh, <laughs> are you sure about this, E? You worry too much. Ready, boy? <laughs> then here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a deep plus fetch, Major. Oh! Maybe a D minus. 
That dog ruined my newspaper. And my farm stand. I was about to have checkmate. We're really, really sorry. You are an annoying dog, Major. Sorry again, everyone. Please, we gotta be more careful with Major. He's got a lot of energy, and it's important. Take a shower. No, two showers. <sighs> See you later, Karma. Major. <sighs> Keys, it's our job to watch out for Major. He has to behave. I know, but Major doesn't mean to make a mess. He just gets a little excited sometimes. <laughs> Especially for bouncy balls. <laughs> okay, okay. One more fetch. <laughs> no, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> Again. <gasps> Major, no! We have to follow him. <sighs> he should be right around this corner. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Major ran away. Oh no. We gotta find him. Come on, Karma. Let's go search. We'll stay here and let you know if he comes home. Major! Come home, boy. <laughs> oh, come here, baby boy. Major, where are you? Major! You didn't find him, did you? We can look tomorrow. I can't believe it. He's out there somewhere, all alone. I lost my best friend. Hmm. I hate seeing Key so sad. Usually, I know just how to help him. I'm his big sister. That's my job. I've always been there to look out for him. But this time, I don't know what to do. Major could be anywhere. To find him, I'm gonna need more help. <gasps> I know! I have to get the entire neighborhood to help me. Keys! Keys! Keys? <gasps> oh. What are you doing down here? I thought I'd wait up for Major to come home. <sighs> but he never did. Hmm. Well, get up. I've got an idea. We need to get the whole community to help us find Major and... But everyone in our neighborhood thinks Major's just some annoying dog. <laughs> They're probably happy he's gone. He can't mess up their chess games anymore. Face it, Karma. <laughs> No one cares about Major. <laughs> Winston! Winston! Huh? It's Major! Oh, no! What did that slobber monster do now? He got lost. What? He's gone? I love his slobber! No, you didn't. 
But if you want to help, I have to convince the whole neighborhood to help me find <clears> him. <throat> Sidewalks are for walking. The whole neighborhood? How's one kid gonna convince everyone in the city to help a dog? I don't know, but I've got to try. Keys and Major are counting on it. <laughs> and I already convinced you, didn't I? Wait, you did? But I... Whoa! Whoa. Mr. Crawford! Oh, wait, we need your help. Major, where you at? Where you at? Keys, I'm trying to get him back, get him back. Major, where you at? Where you at? Keys, I'm trying to get him back. Everybody listen close. My brother needs help right now. He's hurt and he's really not himself right now. It's a must that we have to find Major. Let's show Keys he can count on his neighbors. Even if his dog is loud, smelly, goofy, we have to act now. There's no time to be choosy. And if we all start searching around, what's lost, it'll finally be found. If you lost something, we would help Chef Scott. United, we're strong. And these are our blocks. We love one another and I know you understand. I think I have a plan. Major, where you at? Where you at? Keys, we promise to get them back, get them back. Hey! Come on, Keys. Oh, why are you taking me here? Everything in this park reminds me of <laughs> Major. Karma has something she needs to show you. Karma, what are you doing? You know how you told me everyone in our neighborhood doesn't care about Major and that they think he's just some annoying dog? <sighs> yeah. Well, I don't think that's true. Come on, guys. We can do this. We can huh? find Major. Go. Uh, come on, come on. Hey, everybody. Come on, you guys. That's the spirit. Whoa. We figured if we got everyone in the neighborhood to bounce, Major would hear the balls and find his way home. <gasps> Mr. Crawford? But I thought you didn't even like Major. No, no. Well, he has run his fair share of chess games. But we like him. And we love you. <laughs> you know That's it. That's right. Okay, everyone. If Major's gonna hear us, we all have to bounce as loud as we can. <laughs> louder, everybody! Louder! Hmm. Oh, no. uh, maybe this won't work. I'm so sorry, Keys. <gasps> Do you hear that? It almost sounds like... <gasps> Major! <laughs> that was an A plus fetch, Major. Oh, buddy. I love you. Hey, thanks for getting everyone to help save Major Karma. I'll always be there for you, little bro. I missed you, Major. Even your slobber. Thank you, everyone. Now keep that bounce going. Now when you have strength and support through the stormiest weather, we prove to my brother that we're stronger together. No need to feel alone with neighbors like these. And now we be sure we got you, Keys. <laughs> we love you, little brother. Switch? What? Switch says she was at her dad's today. But those are her headphones. Hey! Switch! Let's go after her. Switch! Maybe she's not answering because that Switch is twin. <gasps> or Switch is evil twin. <gasps> or Switch is evil triplet. Or because of the headphones. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Why would Switch be going to school on the weekend? Huh? Switch? <sighs> Whoa! Switch never told us she could play the violin. Isn't she fantastic? 
She's practicing for a big recital here tomorrow. Who is it? Switch's mom. Oh. Right, 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 right. What can you tell me about Switch's evil triplet? <laughs> huh. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I was supposed to pick her up from rehearsal, remember? No, you told me that I'd get to take her this weekend to... <laughs> you always do this. You are constantly changing the schedule. And... Oh. The Sunrise Sonata. My favorite. It's my favorite, too. Uh. Bravo! 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 Mom, Dad, you're both here. <laughs> Karma, Winston, Keys? Your sonata's excellent, honey. You sound like a violin virtuoso. Oh, yeah, the sonata. Thanks. We are just so proud of you. You are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Practicing paid off. It really... That was amazing. Diner for dinner, my little violin virtuoso? <laughs> you got it, Mom. See you there. <sighs> Switch, are you okay? It's just... It's just... I don't want to play the Sunrise Sonata at the recital tomorrow. What? But it's so good. Maybe you're just nervous. <sighs> no, I'm bored. Huh? huh? I've played that song forever and ever, and it's just not me. I want to play hip hop violin. I want to make mashups. I want to add beats. I want to, I want to. Uh, uh, let me just show you what I mean. Join in! Uh, that's which done. Mashing up Sonata with the beat. Breaking boundaries in the street. Her rhythm is smooth and the talent so massive. Proving every day you can mash up a classic. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, Switch. Your mashups are dope. But they could use a little... Robot <laughs> You shouldn't play the Sunrise Sonata if you don't want to. You should play that banging mashup instead. Ugh, I can't. Why not? You saw my parents. They're obsessed with the Sunrise Sonata. Ugh. I love my mom and dad so much. But when they got divorced last year, they promised things would stay the same, and they're definitely not. They're stressed, and they fight, and... and ugh. When they hear me play the Sonata, it's like... All that goes away. Maybe you could tell them how you feel. I guess I could give it a try. We're here for you, no matter what. We got you, Switch. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you want us for the surprise? <laughs> You're so silly, Mom. <laughs> Just trying to keep up with my little violin virtuoso. Uh... -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. <laughs> hey, Mom, I need to talk to you. What is it, honey? Um, uh, <laughs> can we get onion rings instead? Sure. I'm going inside to see if they have any dessert specials. I know a violin virtuoso who loves chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> Real smooth, Switch. <sighs> and then I said onion rings. And she got up to go look at desserts, and she called me her little violin virtuoso, and, and, ugh. I'll never be able to tell my mom and dad that I want to play my way at the recital tonight. It's okay, Switch. We'll think of something. I gotta figure out how Switch can say what she feels. her parents what she's really thinking. But how can she? What do I do when I have something to say and talking's too hard? Hmm. I write. So I was thinking, you should write your parents a letter. Uh, sure. Hmm. Dear Mom and Dad. No, not that. What about... Ugh, no, they won't understand. Ugh, not that either. I think <gasps> you misspelled violin. <sighs> I think I might need a different approach. How about making a video? 
That's what I would do. I don't know, Winston. Switches, secret reveal video. Take one. All right, everybody. Closes. <laughs> Ahem. I mean, action. Hey, Mom, Dad. You see, the thing is, well, can we try it again? Take two. Mother, father, I want to say that I... Uh, take 67. Oh. Take 112. <clears throat> oh. Take 319. Huh? Pickle chips. Oh, uh, I give up. I'm never going to be able to tell my parents what I really want to play. Ugh. Whoa, Switch. I didn't realize how upset you were. Your playing is fierce. I guess it's just easier for me to show how I feel with my music. Sometimes it's hard to communicate just how you feel Or you're misunderstood and don't know how to deal When people want you to explain yourself a certain way Without words you can't express it in another way Be yourself, be unique with your expression Just speak through your art and let it be your confession That's in the right direction, see for me that means rapping Winston is videography, learning different skills And blend them in perfect harmony My girl Switch, I put her in the elite She uses violin, magic Switch, I put her in the elite. She uses violin mashed up with dope beats. Whatever's on your mind, whatever's on your heart, in your own way, you can say it through your art. Whatever's on your mind, whatever's on your heart, in your own way, you can say it through your art. Awesome! I've got to tell my parents how I feel with music. And I think I have a plan for how to do it. What are you doing? Huh. Did Switch invite you too? Greetings, Mrs. Switch's mom and Mr. Switch's dad. Huh. Right this way. The performance is about to commensutate. Performance? Commensutate. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, here you are. Mr. and Mrs. Stein, you're here because Switch has something she wants to say. Well, play. I love those beats. So you're not mad that I didn't play the sonata? Mad? Of course not. It sounds like you might be upset, though. You want to talk about it? <sighs> I'm tired of playing the same song the same way over and over because you both love it. I want to play mashups. I want to play music that's me. I want to... I want to... I, <sighs> I want to be able to tell you how I really feel. Oh. I'm sorry. We haven't done a good job making you feel like you could express yourself. But I promise we're going to do better. It doesn't matter what you're playing. Just that you love playing it. I really do love playing my way. Well, we can't wait to see our hip-hop violin virtuoso at the recital tonight. Really? Really. <laughs> Huh? 